Ukraine. Okay, now you're ready. Let's yes. see. Two of which are convex and one concave. Now, first, turn out the table. Table number one. Okay, that is parallel ray method. Okay, parallel ray. Again, you cannot apply parallel ray in a concave lens. So that is only true for convex. Two convex. So you have this of this two pieces. Okay. For example, here. Can you see a no concave? Um, here. Example. Ani yung lens? Okay. My object, no? Kung pa lang ni siya, ayaw pila akong no. Kung hit-hit pa lang ni siya, let's say, di na glass ang window. Ako na siyang i-close na natin. Kung magbili mo, pusak ko window ma-open. Or, light rate to pass through the window. Pusak ko. Then that window will now be my object, okay? So, light will pass through the window, passing through the lens, and then project an image here. So, mangita ka pinaka-clear na image na mag-project. So, if pinaka-clear na image, measure the distance of the image from the lens. Okay, let us say 10 centimeters. Ang distance in image from the lens. Then that is the focal length of this lens. Because if you compare the distance of the image from the lens sa distance of the object from the lens it is as if your object is at infinity. Diba? Kaya yung kaya compare to this one. So, again, in ana lang kasi yun ang parallel ray. But, uh, mention the distance, then <laughs> finding, you can find the focal length of this lens. That is for cap sub 1. Another lens, kuha na po, do the same. That is, again, record the focal length of the second lens. Hello. Make sure lang yung hilot mo ako po rin na ako. Ayaw, hindi pa kita sa inyong nakita mo. Sabi ka niya pag-discuss. Gusto mo ninyong maestro, discuss mo din mo. So, next one. Um, conjugate. So, here. Now, di ba ang conjugate involve fixed distance between the image and the object? So, this will be my object and the image will be projected near. Object, kaning triangle. Light source is here. Okay? Triangle. So, ibutang ni Nako for example here. So, tanahon sa nimo, di ba mangita ka D? D is the distance between the image and the object. So, for example here, you have 122. And then here, let us say, pila, 5. So, D you now be? 122 minus 5. 117. Now, i-on. Okay. So, kuratan ka, sorry lang, kakalimot ko, maging ano yung muda. Kagusap mo sa iyong papa. So here, i-move ni Nemo, such that makakreate ang pinaka-clear na image here. So let us say, clear na image. Okay. Tanaw dahil yung gray. Let us say, ka na siya is 105. Okay. Tanaw ni Nemo, image is inverted. Diba? Same sa atong concept dito kaniya. Now, 122 minus 105. 17. Okay? This is it. Eh. That is your P in trial 1, lens 1, table 2. Trial means position. Trial 1, lens 1, P. Okay? Then your Q would now be 105 minus 5, which is 100. Now, 100 plus 17. 117, which is actually our D, right? No. That is Q, lens 1, trial 1. 100. Now, move again. So that means position 1, create a larger image. I move pa doon na po, pangita na po doon lang in position. That is the second position. Be not yan ang image. Ka-cute. Okay? And by the way, before finding the second position, no? before finding the second position, first, measure the height of this object. Then that would be I, ano, O, trial 1, lens 1. O, trial 1, lens 1. Height of the object na siya. And then measure also the height of the image. That would be recorded at I, 
trial one, lens one. Ang I is height of the image. I. Height of the object. So again, P, measure 120 to minus 105, di ba? Then Q, 105 minus 5. Then measure me using a ruler the height, recorded in O. Measure the height of the image, recorded in I. All, trial 1, lens 1. Then find another position. Nga, klaro po nga position. So, let's say that one. Again, measure the P, 122. Let us say minus 21. So, 101. For example, then Q na po ni mo. Diba? P na po, Q. Wa man ka mausap ang height sa iyong object. Okay. So, nausap ang height sa iyong image. Then, measure na po ang height sa image. So, that is, ang kanis sa iyong record, P, trial 2, lens 1. Q, trial 2, lens 1. I, trial 2, lens 1. O, trial 2, lens 1. Okay. Follow. Next, for this one here, M is equal to I over O. Okay. And then M is Q over P. And also, for F here, using 1 over P plus 1 over Q, which is a thin lens formula. And then here, use the method, the other formula, which is D squared minus D squared all over D. Okay. Then, for lens number 2, Pagkita at itong ganihan lens ni mo, gigamit ni mo sa F sub 2 sa parallel ray. Okay? Mauna na po yung mga do the same, same uh, method, then also record sa lens to tanan, respectively. Klaro? Okay. Next, B, contact method. Again, contact method involves Kanki. 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 Ma-feel man na ni mo. Concave. I-compare na ni mo dari, which is? Concave. Now, here, in contact with, in contact na ni. Managhan niya mo. Doha pa ni Kalinses, hindi ka man na niya. Nakasulo na niya ate. In contact, Lord Buria. Do I kasi manang alawan sa? Sa premier. Di isa mo magform ng anig do ka di ba na? Form ng girl. Magform ng girl lang sa ba? Sa hi. Sa anak. Hey. Pinaka clear na image. Again, do the same conjugate, but this one, this time here, you have two lenses in contact. P and Q, then pangita po kanada position, P and Q na po. Same. So, ani? For example, kani ang first position pinaka clear, no? Di ba nakuha na ninyo ang focal and ana using parallel ray? Let us say parallel ray ni Moana is 15. Then, you have your P. Let us say P ni Mo is... 77 Pila ganito? 122 pila? 122 minus 77 25 plus 22 Say let us say 50 lang Okay? 50 So therefore, imong P is 50 Imong Q, let us say 120 lang 70 imong Q So therefore, how will you find the focal length of the concave? 1 over F sub 2 equal to 1 over 50 plus 1 over 70 minus 1 over 15. 